Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be quite similar to my last video, but tis the season, back to school. My kids are back to school as of today, and while I miss them, I am welcoming the routine. So it is like 10.30 in the morning. I've already prepared dinner. I just feel like good to go. So we're gonna record this haul, and it's gonna go up tonight. It's like, wow, who am I today? So this video is, uh, it's not a mystery. And I showed you the other day, uh, school shopping. I mean, if you have kids, grandkids, back to school shopping is in. And I shopped the Thread Up outlet. And my goal for that is to make the kids items I got free. Same with today. This is kind of how I jumped back into reselling many years ago, back in like 2016, back in 2003, showing my age. I paid my way through college selling on eBay, uh, took a little hiatus. And so uh, one thing that I like to do besides, of course, having an extra income uh, through all of my reselling platforms is to make my kids items free. So I like to dress them in cutesy things and then resell those things for a profit. So today I'm gonna show you 19 items from swap.com. I love this website. It's kind of like my little honey hole that I'm sharing. Maybe you've shopped there, maybe you haven't. It is sort of like thread up and I will say I'm not affiliated with them. Um, do not send items in there to sell. I sent a box like not even last, was it last summer? All I know is that it took an entire year, literally a year, 12 months for them to process the box I sent them. And they are still slowly uploading like one item at a time. The payout is pretty terrible, similar to ThreadUp, but I sent them kind of the junk because I just wasn't sure. I don't recommend selling to them, but shopping, I have purchased so many pairs of like Birkenstocks and Vionics for myself. A lot of my kids' school clothes last year. So it's a great, a great thing. And what I love about them is they have, it's not an affiliate program. So I have a way for you to get 40% off of your first purchase. I will put the link down below. There's no code. It's just a link that will take you. And then after you make your first purchase, you get your own unique link to share with somebody. And if you use my link, then I get another 40% off code. So um, thank you to people who have used my link because I was able to get 40% off of this and they don't expire. Um, I this, That code was from like eight or nine months ago, one of you guys used my link. So please use it and then I can do more shopping and then share it with your mom, sister, friend, and then you can continue um, because you can only use the link one time, like for your first purchase, and then they'll send you a new, um, it is a code that they'll send you for the next time. So let's do this. There are 19 items and just like the thread up outlet, uh, some of these items were three, $4. The most expensive was a pair of shoes. I will show you these first. I did pay $14.99 for these mini Melissa's, but they are like in brand new condition um, for my daughter. So I do pay up for personal use items, but all in all, I spent $159.62, 19 items. That does give me a higher cost of goods than usual, but again, most of these items are personal use, $8.40. So I'm going to make two piles and I will let you know how many items I'm going to try and resell. Eventually all of this will get resold, but can I make what I got my kids? And actually there's a couple pieces for Michael and I free or come super close. So who doesn't want a school shop for free? So if you don't already use that strategy, I definitely encourage you. I mean, you could go to do this at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, anywhere. Anytime I go in a place and I buy something for personal use, I do not leave without buying to sell. I went in once upon a child yesterday. I literally needed a shirt for one of my daughters to wear to hip hop class. And I found a skirt that I've already listed to sell to make what I bought free. So it's just how I do. All right, Mini Melissa, always a great pickup. I did pay $15. That is kind of the buy price at all of my once upon a child's now. I wouldn't pay that much as a reseller unless it was you know, this is Baby Shark, uh, they're, they're the Disney collabs, and they're in, unless they're in really great condition. The value has gone down on them, but you still can get around that 30, even $40 mark for some of the more sought after ones. The plain ones are gonna go in the 20 to $25 range. We're starting with shoes. So it came, my order of 19 items, they do have different warehouses. I'm not sure where they are, but I got some of my items in this little box, and then several of them came in a poly mailer. So. Saltwater sandals, you guys I'm sure by now have heard me talk about these. These are a little girl size one. They just need a little wipe down. Those are to sell. Some Sorel little snow boots. 
These do show a little bit of wear. They're pretty good. They're great. If you ever need to return anything, uh, if it's not as described, like I, I have a few times, they'll send you a return label. They're really apologetic, really nice. I've always dealt with the same woman. They reply very quickly. So um, don't be worried that you'll be stuck with something. Even if it says um, their return policy online says you have to pay return shipping, but not if it was inaccurately described and they've never given me a hard time. So they, they do, they say like excellent, good, fair, that sort of thing. And unlike ThreadUp, I have actually found them to be pretty accurate with their descriptions. So these are some cute little boots and they are a toddler size 11 to sell. Another pair, these are obviously a little bit smaller, toddler size nine. So my hope is to sell, I've got four pairs of shoes to sell, one to keep obviously make the one I wanted free. These are definitely a little dirtier than I thought they were going to be, but they're strawberries. Strawberries sell. They just, they do. These I'm going to wipe down. You have to be care careful. I learned the hard way. I just cleaned up some bogs using magic eraser when there's a graphic on them because it will peel it right off. So these are the brand Hatley, which is a really great brand for women and children. And these are a, a toddler size nine. They're, they're so cute. All right, we're gonna jump into clothes. Let me speed it up a little. Uh, I have told you before, Dot Dot Smile and LuLaRoe for kids still do amazing. This is for my daughter. Um, they love these little twirly dresses. They come in the best prints and this is, I don't ever buy the warm material. I don't know if that's officially what they call it. It pills really fast in the wash, but this is what they call slinky. Doesn't wrinkle, washes and holds up super well. I don't put these in the dryer. I don't know if you're supposed to, but a lot of my girls' dresses like that, I don't put in the dryer. She was equally as excited about this one because it's a maxi. And my she is seven, but she wears a size five and she's very short. So when I can find a maxi dress, like she just loves them. That doesn't drag the floor. I'm here for it. This is their size five, six, and it's like right at the floor. So she was thrilled. I got a brand new Tag Simply Southern shirt. I think after the 40% off, I paid like $6, but we're going with the $8.50. I love Simply Southern, you guys know I love shirts. Y'all have seen this one, but it's just really cute. It says, may you always have a shell in your hand and sand in your toes. I love it. I'm definitely more of a lake loving girl than a beach loving girl, especially since we got a boat. If you know, you know, you just there's no stickiness, it's great. This is a great brand, Rockets of Awesome. Um, you can find so many, this is new with tag. Uh, both of the, all, all four pieces of clothing have been new with tags so far. The site is overwhelming, very much like thread up. So I tend to sort by new with tags, especially I was school shopping, uh, but you'll find a lot. And they do have like designer items. So this, this is just so my middle because of the, the mixed prints, but you guys know I try to buy my kids items that I know I can then resell. These are to sell. Let's make some of these dresses free. These are Hannah Anderson. They are brand new with the tags. These retailed for $48. I'm gonna go get these listed right now because it is Kid Economy Week over on Kidizen, which is just a small event where we all agree to buy at least one item from someone else participating. And it's definitely slower this year. Usually today is the second full day. Is that right? Yes, and usually there's well, a lot more sales have happened in general, but you know, everyone's just kind of saving a little bit this year. This is Matilda Jane, no, for Snickety. Very similar to Matilda Jane. Uh, it's a really cute little dress. And uh, when I'm using my 40% off coupon, I do try to find like at least 20 pieces similar to the thread up outlet, but they don't have a rule like that. You could just get one item and use your 40% off. And, um, it used to not work if an item said new arrival, it wouldn't work, but try it because it does work for some. Um, and if they're running any specials, like sometimes they have all sweaters are $15 or whatever, the, the discount code won't work on those. So um, you can go, you can back out of your cart. I always put the code in and I look over and I see which items it didn't work on. I put it back in my wish list so you can favorite things. I always have a running wish list on swap.com. So you can create a little account and it just stays there. And if those items sell, they'll be grayed out. So then you can remove them easily. This is Mini Bowden, a little tank top. This was listed for like $3. I just thought this was super cute for to keep. So that's gonna go in my keep pile. 
All right, this is to sell. This is the brand Billy Blush. I don't know where it's sold, but I know that I have sold it a few times. It sells pretty well. This is a really cute little girl's dress. It has like this fringe on the side. I originally got this for my daughter, but then after looking in her closet, I'm like, you know what? She has a lot right now. And she has, that's my uh, Lily obsessed. And she's like, can I, can you just only buy me Lily? She's seven. I said, maybe for next school year, I'll, I'll be on the hunt for uh, some used items. All right, this is for myself. I love this real life kind of, these kind of shirts for being out on the boat or even just out on the lake. I sunburn super easily, even though I've been in Florida my entire life. So um, these are usually like, yeah, this was $40, which is a typical 30 to $40 is what they usually pay. So I happily paid, I think they had this listed at like $14.99 and then I got all 40% off of that. So sweet, I got this to sell. Um, I hope that by, even if you don't sell kids items, I appreciate some of you who definitely don't sell kids items that you watch my videos anyway, just to support me. Um, like my sweet friend, Kelly Schaffner, if you don't watch her channel, you should. She just lights up everything. Like when I turn her videos on, doesn't matter what I'm doing, she just makes me smile. She's so positive. Anyway, I know she doesn't sell kids clothes and she still watches my videos, but maybe by hearing some of these brands so many times, if you just happen to see something, you'll be like, you know what? I should pick that up. This brand is no exception. Mia Joy, Joyfully, you know, the one Michael and I can't decide. Is it Joyfully or Joyfully? Don't know. But this is a really cute little girl's size seven. Uh, it's Look at this sleeve. I hope I can find a stock photo of it because it's really cute. They, this, they sell, they're known for their gladiator sandals, little girls. I just feel like that would look so cute with them. What is this? Oh, another sweatshirt for one of my littles. This is art class size 10, 12. Um, but yes, it was new with the tags. This is a size up. I just loved it. It says... Take me somewhere warm and sunny. She does not like the cold, neither do I. So when it finally does get cold here in Florida, we're always bundled up. I did pick something up for my husband, two things. This is Life is Good. Um, this is hysterical. It says sawdust is man glitter. And uh, my husband is the Pinterest king. He literally, let's see, he ship lapped that wall. He made me that coffee holder. He helped me refinish and refurbish that whole thing. He's just the jack of all trades. And he also hates glitter. He calls it devil dust. So when I saw this shirt, I'm like, this is perfect all around. He also loves this item. And this is the last item. This went pretty quick. This, um, he plays hockey here in Orlando. Funny, right? I know. Um, but this is an NHL, NHL Tampa Bay Lightning, just a pullover. We're always at the hockey rinks to watch him, watch others. And so this is really lightweight and he thought that was great. So I don't have much to sell to try to recoup this money, but I'm gonna try my hardest. I've got to sell the salt waters, the two pairs of boots and the rain boots. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight items to sell, which means there should be 11. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, I'm missing one. I'm missing something. That's okay. Somebody probably stole something, one of my children. Okay, I had to pop back in here. I, I couldn't figure out why I was missing an item. And they have done this to me a few times. One of the items that I had purchased, uh, they did not have any longer. It was a brand new item. So I don't know if they thought they had multiples and they did refund it very quickly uh, before the whole order even shipped. So I got $7.79 back. It was a pair of native shoes, which you guys know about those. So that does bring my cost of goods up by four cents. So it was 18 items, $151.83. So $8.44 will be my average cost of goods. So just wanted to give that little update. But um, yeah, so I'm going to try, I'm going to keep track and hopefully because these videos are going up so close together and I see I still have a couple pieces here I need to lint roll and list from the thread up box, I can do a 90 day update on the two. So they're kind of my, both of my back to school item. Um, let's see how much money I can recoup between the two boxes. So again, swap.com. I will link that website below as well as my code. So go do you some shopping. I know not everyone has gone back to school yet, or maybe you just need fall items. They've got everything. At least go check it out. You know, anytime you need a pair of new shoes, like they've got Uggs, they've got everything. I think that 
in addition to people sending in items, I think that Swap is, I don't know this for sure, but I think that a lot of their items come direct from these companies because they might have um, you know, Simply Southern, but they'll have like 10 of the same shirt new with tag, you know? So I think that they do get liquidation from companies, um, QVC, that sort of thing. So you can find some really great deals on name brand items. So just keep it in your toolbox, you know, Hey, you know what? I need a new pair of sandals. Let me look and see if they have them there. So, all right guys, I hope this video helps you in your reselling or just in general saving money in life. Cause I'm here for that too. All right. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and give this video a like, drop me a comment on the way out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.